I, I think we are live. Just gonna double check. Are we live? We are live. Hello and welcome to this date in history, aka TDH. This show is all about the events that occurred today in years past, both recognized by actual historians, but mainly things that we personally find intriguing enough for us to bring to you. Uh, sources of this information come from the smart device application Today in History. What happened today in history? Historical calendar. And the website on this day.com. For links to those sources, the music, and anything else we gather throughout the show, check the description. Anyway, I am Ayo Xander. I am Locke. And today is Moon's Day, also known as Monday, March 7th, 2022. Why don't you take us, uh, start us off today, sir? Yes, I will. And 161 Marcus Aurelius and L. Commodius, who later changed his name to Lucius Versus, became joint emperors of Rome on the death of Antonius Pius. Yeah, I would change his name from Commodius. Yeah. Well, commode. I, I wouldn't change my name to Commodius because then people would think I'm a toilet because, you know, commode, Commodius. He probably had a shitty personality. Ha <laughs> you know, ha Commode. Man, we're just flushing the level of humor down the toilet today, aren't we? Exactly. Yeah. That's why he had to change his name. Who knows? He probably had to execute people for make, mocking them. Oh my probably goodness. Had to executing them. That would you know, be one horrifying. Where going. Dude, <laughs> dude, be careful who make you you make fun of in second grade because they might grow up to execute you. <laughs> yep. Moving on up to 1138, Conrad III von Hohenstaufen was elected king of Germany at Koblenz at the in the presence of the papal legate Theodwin. Cool. Damn. Also, 1127, 1177, no, 1277, the University of Paris issued the last uh, in a series of condemnations of the of uh, various philosophical and theological pieces. Uh, okay, so essentially, like you know, uh, condemning people who think differently. So, like uh, an, an ancient form of uh, conspiracy theorists, essentially. You know. Yes. Yep. Jumping on up to 1573, a peace treaty was signed between the Ottoman Empire and the Republic of Venice, ending the Ottoman-Venetian War and leaving Cyprus in Ottoman hands. So sounds like Ottomans won. Yeah. Cyprus. Also, oh, sorry, go ahead. Also, 1799, Napoleon Bonaparte captures Jaffa in Palestine and his troops proceed to kill more than 2,000 Albanian captives. Dang. That's Goddamn. that's just not cool, man. Like, you know, you capture Goddamn. people and then you kill them. Sort angry man. Yeah. Uh, speaking of uh, Napoleon, uh, 1814, Emperor Napoleon I of France won the Battle of Crayon. Yeah. Also, in 1827, Brazilian Marines unsuccessfully attacked the temporary naval base of Carmen de Patagones, Argentina. Ah, failed attack. Also, in 1827, what is the Shrigley abdu abduction? Ellen Turner is abducted by Edward Gibbon Wakefield, a future politician in colonial New Zealand. Uh, people getting abducted up in here. Mm-hmm. Also, in uh, 1850, Senator Daniel Webster gives his 7th of March speech endorsing the Compromise of 1850 in order to prevent a possible civil war. Uh, we saw how that worked out, unfortunately. So. I just uh, got a good dictionary from him. Uh, yep. What was the Compromise of 1850, though? Let me look that up real quick. Compromise of 1850 was a package of five separate bills passed by the United States Congress in September 1850 that diffused a political confrontation between slave and free states on the statutes of territories acquired in the Mexican-American War. Ah. Interesting. In 1862, during the American Civil War, well, here you go. In order to prevent a possible civil war, next article, civil war. <laughs> yeah, 
Union forces engaged Confederate troops at the Pea Ridge in northwestern Arkansas. Dang. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Also in, uh... <laughs> also in 1870... 1876, Alexander Graham Bell is granted a patent for an invention he calls the telephone. Yeah, despite uh, at least one or two other people already having uh, had that. He got the most publicity and got the patent first, but he's not the inventor-inventor. He just took the credit. 1900, the German liner SS Kaiser Wilhelm der Gross became the first ship to send wireless signals to shore. Oh, cool. Damn. Also in 1902, the Second Boer War, Boers, led by Coles de la Rey, inflicted the biggest defeat upon the British since the beginning of the war in Tui Boss. Uh, let's see here, uh, it's the Boers who have defeated the British. Okay, so it's not telling me, so Second Boer War, you know, I'm not going to look that up. Uh, I wanted to see, uh, what their losses were, but we'll just jump into 1914. Prince William of Weed arrived in Albania to begin his reign as king. Okay, also, 1933, the Parliament House of Finland was officially inaugurated in Helsinki, Finland. Nice. I think it happened in 1931, though. Uh, five years later, 1936, a prelude to the World War to the Second World War, in violation of the Locarno Pact and the Treaty of Versailles, Germany reoccupied the Rhineland. Oh, here we go. Yeah, hey, we did that in uh, Call of Duty World War Two in the campaign. You take over the Rhine. Ah, yeah, like in uh, Hearts of Iron 4, you can play as Germany, and like uh, then you like uh, you recapture the Rhineland, unify Germany, restart yeah. the military and all that stuff, and then you invade Poland. You can actually, it's a really cool game. You can you can do it step by step, historically accurately, or you can go way off the, the, the whole deep end. Um, there is one gameplay I went through where, uh, where, uh, the U.S. went communist, uh, the U.K. went fascist, and uh, Adolf Hitler got assassinated in 1938. Like, <laughs> like you can go, you can go so wacky in that game. It's awesome. Damn. Yeah. Uh, what happened in the 1941? In 1941, Gunter Prien and the crew of German submarine U-47. One of the most successful U-boats of World War II disappeared without a trace. Oh, wow. Huh. I got a... Uh, hmm. That's interesting. Four years later, during World War II, uh, U.S. troops seized the Ludendorff Bridge over the Rhine at Remagen. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Also, 1950, Cold War, the Soviet Union issues a state... But denying the Klaus Fox served as a Soviet spy. Oh, shut up, Soviets. He was such a spy. Klaus Fuchs, he was the reason why the Ruskies got the bomb. It was, it was him and his collaborators. He's a big proponent in that. One year later, 1951, during the Korean War, Operation Ripper occurred in which United Nations troops led by General Matthew Ridgway began an assault against Chinese forces. Luck? Yeah. Also, in 1951, Iranian Prime Minister Al Razaman is assassinated by Khalid Taramasbi, a member of the Islamic fundamentalist Badr Anwar Islam, inside a mosque in Tehran. Yeah, Tehran. Tehran. Yep. Four years later, Bloody Sunday, another Bloody Sunday, here we go, a group of 600 civil rights marchers in, it was brutally attacked by the state and local police in Shelma, Alabama. Oh. Shelma, Alabama. Yeah. Alabama. M MLK was there. Ah. How many Bloody Sundays were there in history? We're at, what, three now? Like, let me, yeah. Let me, let me look that up. How many Bloody Sundays? Yeah, here we go. How many Bloody Sundays are there? Uh, 
there were three to four incidents, 1913, 1920, 1972, were in whole or part acts of violence committed by British state forces on Irish civilians. So that's, so there's four bloody Sundays for the Irish alone uh, are there in the world. Uh, well, it's not telling me. Why are there so many called, 13, yeah. Yeah, why are so many events called Bloody Sunday? So well, I have no idea. There's there's a lot of Bloody Sundays. So how many of them are on an actual Sunday? Uh, well, I'd expect all of them. You know. Oh, uh, this is Monday. Uh, yeah, but it, the event occurred on, on a Sunday at that time. So like this date in 1965 okay. would have been a Sunday. Okay. Yeah. Moving on up to 1967, the Majelis Permus Wairoratan Rakit Samaritar, or MPRS, Indonesia's Provisional Parliament, revoked Sukarno's mandate as President of Indonesia. Hmm. Yay. Yep. Both? Also, in 18, uh, 1968, Vietnam War, the United States and South Vietnamese military began operation to Hong Kong, then to root out Viet Cong forces in the area surrounding my toe. Why do you have VC around your toe? What are the VC doing around your toe? They're, right now they're currently supporting the tough acting Kanakin. <laughs> oh, Charlie. Now, oh, Charlie. Jumping on up to 1971, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, a political leader of the East Pakistan, or present-day Bangladesh, delivered his historic 7th March speech in the racecourse field, now Suwarde Udon, in Dhaka. Dhaka. Dhaka uplink. I played too much Planet Side. Uh, 1986, Lunk? Where do you keep going? Oh, me nowhere. Uh, uh, also, in uh, 1986, Challenger dis the Challenger disaster, divers from the U.S. preserver locate the crew cabin of Challenger on the ocean floor. Oh, man. I don't even want to look that up. That's just tragic. Yeah, we already know how horrible it is. Yeah. 365 days later, in 1987, the Liyue Massacre occurred in which Taiwanese military massacred uh, of 19 unarmed Vietnamese refugees at Donggang Liu Kinmen. Now why why do the people keep killing innocent people? It's just, just why? You know? It never leads to anything good. No, it doesn't. Also, in 1989, Iran and the United Kingdom break diplomatic relations after a fight over Solomon Rush died and his controversial novel, The Satanic Versus. Uh, I don't blame the UK. Um, well, yeah, well, whoever broke off the diplomatic relations, I don't blame them. Is That's Iran. Yeah. Well, for once, I'm on Iran's side. <sighs> nah, I'm not on... I'm on no side with that. Don't ban books. Well... You Man, a, what do you have in them? You have a point. You have a point. If somebody wants it, they'll get it. Only difference is they won't be able to track it. You have a point. You have a very valid point. I'm going to have to side with you on that, actually. Moving on up to 1993, the tugboat Thomas Herbert sank off the coast of New Jersey, USA. Yes. Also, in 2006, terrorist organization Lashkar e Tayaba, Tibia. Uh, coordinate a series of bombings in Barasni, India. Uh, yes. Bombings. One year later, in 2007, Garuda, Indonesia Flight 200 crashed at Adidasipudo International Airport in the special region of Yogyakarta, Indonesia, causing the deaths of 21 people. Oh man. Damn. You know, like after all these all these articles of planes crashing, like I'm really happy I don't fly. <laughs> I know it's supposedly a rarity, but, I mean, it's happened enough for me to be discouraged. So I'll, I'll take a bus, thank you. Also, Don't look up bus bombings. Oh, 
God. Well, nowhere is safe, but at least, you know, a bus doesn't fall out of the sky, you know? Like... No, it don't. Also, in, uh... 2007. Uh, 2000... Okay, also in 2007, uh, we reform of the House of Lords, the British House of Commons votes to make an upper chamber House of Lords 100% elected. Good. Good. Or at least in the public eye, it's elected. Two years later, in 2009, the real Irish Republican Army killed two British soldiers and injured two other soldiers and two civilians and at Masserine Barracks, the first British military deaths in North Ireland since the end of the Troubles. Oh, wow, that's still going on, 2009. Yeah. Okay. Also, 2021, at least 100 people, 105 people died and 600 were injured in a 2021 Bata explosion in the Bata Quadrilateral New Guinea. Yeah. Equ uh, equatorial, like equator. Okay. Equatorial, yeah. Equatorial Guinea. Which I, I assume is like a part of New Guinea that's directly on the equator. Um, dang. The, the, the Bata explosions. Uh, I don't remember that. Um, we have to look that up. I remember some port blowing up, but that was a couple years ago. Um, a series of, uh, yeah, during the afternoon of March 7th, 2021, last year, a series of four explosions occurred at a military barracks in the neighborhood of uh, Nikotatama, a district in ba of Bada, the largest city and commercial capital of the Central African country of Equatorial Guinea. Huh. Interesting. Um... Yeah. Before we get into births and deaths, any articles uh, capture your attention today? Uh, yeah, Senator, well, two, Senator Daniel's, uh, 7th of March speech, and we're us taking the Rhine. Oh, uh, yes. I'm gonna have to go with the Rhine as well. Moving on into births. In 189, we have Publius Septimius Geta, a Roman emperor. Okay. Uh, th okay. And in uh, 942, we have Buadi al Dawala. Booty Empire. 1671, Rob Roy McGregor, Scottish outlaw. I wonder if he's the great ancestor of Connor McGregor. That explains his fighting skills. You know? He's fucking Irish. Of course he's a uh, fucking a uh, fighter. A huh. drinking fight. Yep. Uh, also in 1678, Filippo Gervara, Italian architect who decided the Basilica of Supergra. Ooh. I have to oh. look that up here. Yes. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's uh, it's like a, a church thing with a rotunda, and it that's an interesting architecture. I don't know what to call it. Like, it has, like, all these big towers and such on it that are way disproportionately large compared to the rest of the structure. It's like if you merged, like, the capital with, uh, with, like, Venice architecture and some of, some of the Vatican and then painted it, painted some of it orange. Oh, and, and a little bit of Notre Dame in there as well, just a little bit. Interesting. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. Moving on up to 1730, we have Louis Auguste Le Tonnelier de Bretemuel, French soldier and politician who was a prime minister of France. And in 1765, we have Nice for Nice French inventor who invented the phonogra photograph. Yeah, invented photography. Look at that photograph! Look at this photograph. Look at this graph. <laughs> Look at this giraffe. 1811, Increase A. Lepom, uh, American botanist and author. What a name, Increase A. Lepam. What's a Lepam? I don't know, but increase it. But specifically, A. Lepam. I don't know. Uh, you there? 
1839, we have Ludric Monday, German born, chemist, and. Right. Yeah. Ludric Monday, German born, oh, German born chemist, and British industrialist who discovered the metal carbonyls. I don't think carbonyls is a metal. I think it's the it's uh the, the like a, a, a like a something of it. Or right. metal carbonyls are coordination complexes of transition metals with carbon monoxide ligands. Metal carbonyls are useful in organic synthesis and as catalysts or catalyst precursors in hum, homogeneous catalysts such as uh, hydroflimation and repe chemistry. So it sounds like something involving merging man with machine. Because, uh, that's interesting. Oh, it's cybernetics. Yeah. All the way, yeah, dang. Uh, 1841? Yeah, in 1841, there's William Rockwell Nelson, American businessman and publisher who founded the Kansas City Star. Nice. 1843, Marriott Henry Brosius, American senator. Okay. In, uh, in 1850, Thomas Guerrero Masaryk, Austrian and Stetsian Scientologist, a politician who was the first president of Czechoslovakia. Yeah, sociologist, not Scientologist. I don't think Scientology was invented back then. Actually, when was Scientology invented? Scientology invented. Uh, 1953 in December. Okay. Uh, then we have uh, 1885, John Tovey, a first Baron Tovey, an English admiral. Okay, oh yeah. Also, in uh. Wait, which one are we on? 1888. Uh, 1888, we have Aldius Tardia Van Darkenborg Starts Hour. Dutch lawyer and politician who was the first. who was a governor general of the Dutch East Indies. Hmm. 1911, Sashindananda Vatsyayan. Indian modern poet, journalist, and author. Yeah. Also, in, uh... Yeah, okay, yeah. You okay? Also, in 1930, we have Anthony Armstrong Jones, first Earl of Snowdon, English photographer and politician. Snowdon. 1938, Janet Guthrie, a U.S. professional race car driver and first woman to qualify and compete in both the Indianapolis 500 and Daytona 500. 500, 500, she got a full thousand. Oh, a whole thousand? Yeah. Alright, uh, damn. Also, in 1942, we have Michael Eisner, U.S. businessman. Why does that name sound so familiar? Yeah, he was mostly involved in Disney. Who? Oh, okay. Well, then I'm gonna, yeah. Alright. 1942, Tammy Faye Messiner, a U.S. Uh, evangelist, television personality, and talk show host. Damn. Also, in uh, 1959, we have Brian Cranston, U.S. actor, director, and producer. You know, he played, uh,. The dad and mock him in the middle. Oh, he him! Okay. White. And he also played in Trumbo as Donald Tr Trumbo. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember Brian Cranston now. Yeah, sometimes the names escape me, but like when I'm going through, you know, researching for the script, a, a name that like I can't place it, but I'm like I should add yeah. this because it's it's really familiar. But yeah. He's, a, he's Hal in a. Hmm. Mock him yeah. in the middle. Yeah, he was Hal. He was. Uh, he was Walter, Walter White. White, yeah. Which, by the way, there's a theory uh, saying that Walter White and Hal are the same person. Like, he faked his own death and then, like, restarted or something. I don't know. Okay. Um, okay. 
1967, Mushin Al Ramli, an Iraq author, poet, translator, and academic. Or as Muffin would say, academic. A mechanic. <laughs> Dale. Also, in 1971, Matthew Vaughn, English director, producer, and screenwriter. I don't think he is related to Vince Vaughn. Uh, no. I just looked it up. Um, it says, uh, no, they are not related to each other. So. Then, uh, 1984, Steve Burt Jr., a U.S. Ukrainian basketball player. And I added that in because of the current, uh, you know, happenings right now with Ukraine. So. Yeah. What better person, you know, to, to be representative, you know? Random yeah. basketball player. Getting into also, this. In 1961, we have... Antonius Pius, Roman Emperor. 1961? Where? Oh, 161. Okay. 161, yeah, 161. Confusing me, bro. 413, Heraclianus, Roman politician and failed usurper. Mm -hmm. Also, in uh, a... 851, we have Nomami. King slash Duke of Brittany. Domino no me. That's Nomino. Domino Nomino. Oh. Yeah. 1226, William Longisipi, third Earl of Salisbury, English commander. What a, what a name, Longisipi. Yeah. Probably the longest peer. Need to go check that out. What? You need to go check that out if he's the longest peer. <laughs> I'm not going to look up the world record for longest urine stream. That's just weird. Yeah. Also, uh, 1767, Don Baptiste Moy Seri de Beanville. Canadian politician who was the second colonial governor of Louisiana. Nice. We missed uh, one in 1625, uh, Johann Bayer, a German lawyer and cartographer. I'm wondering if they have anything to do with Bayer Aspirin, like if his ancestor, or if his, if his later on, you know, uh, what's the word, descendant, if his descendants have anything to do with Bayer Aspirin. Then, uh, 1809, Jean-Pierre Blanchard, a French inventor who is best known as a pioneer in balloon flight. Yeah. Yeah. 1810. Also. 18. 1870. 1810. 1810. Cobra Collingwood. First Baron Collingwood. English Admiral. 1838. Robert Townsend. American spy. Yeah, Robert Townsend. Yeah. Also. 19, oh, 1897, Harry and Jacob, black, you're a black U.S. citizen, um, and abolition, abolitionist, abolitionist, and author. Well, he was against blacks, or was he against black? Uh, Harriet Jacobs actually was a female. Uh, it says here, Harriet James Wickers was a, uh, was a black U.S. citizen writer whose uh, autobiography, Incidents in the Life of a Slave Girl, published in 1861 under the pseudonym Linda Brent, is now considered an American classic. Born into slavery in Edenton, North Carolina, she was sexually harassed by her enslaver. So she was black. So she was a black abolitionist. Whatever a black abolitionist is. Um, probably an abolitionist towards slavery. If that makes any sense. Yeah. Uh, jumping on up to 1920, Jan Posca, an Estonian lawyer and politician who is the first Estonian Minister of Foreign Affairs. Cool. Yeah. Also, 1839, 1938. I mean, 1938, we have Andreas Mikhail Paulus, Greek politician who was the 116th Prime Minister of Greece. Dang. 1947, Lucy Parsons, a U.S. Communist Anarchist Labor Organizer. Organizer. <laughs> also in 19... 
1971, Richard Montag, U.S. mathematician and philosopher. Yeah, Montague. 1988, Harris Glenn Milstead, U.S. drag queen and film actor. Don't know who that is. Yeah, I think her, her stage name was Divine. Or his stage okay. name, or whatever whatever it is. Uh, 1991, we have Danny... In 1999, we have Danny Kubrick. U.S. director, producer, and screenwriter. Kubrick, yep. Really good director. Apparently he was a... Apparently Mr. Kubrick was a Q-dick. Uh, or a Q-prick. But he got the job Q done. So... 20, and in 2016, we have Leonard Barney, a Bergen-Belsen concentration camp liberator. I actually have a video uh, involving Bergen-Belsen. Um, and that, what a tragedy. So, But anyway, that concludes the show. Uh, once again, check the underbar for any links you may be interested in, which also have... So in TV on Twitch. And everything Omni Coalition. Uh, eventually, we're going to switch our streaming platform to the Omni Coalition on Rumble. Uh, I don't know when that's going to be, but we will still be uploading onto here, onto my channel, but we're more or less moving over to, you know, larger pastures. But anyway, for your dose of Pass Events Daily, we stream every day at 12 o'clock Pacific, which is noon, or... Uh, 2 Central. Yep, in the afternoon. Uh, for all of you and all of us, we, I am Xander. I am Luck. And uh, until tomorrow, you'll see us in Toodles.